You guys, this is super exciting. So uh, Julie, she uh, told me that she was playing around with this and she found something that I was really asking for and hoping for. So I just have to make a part two to the, the previous video real quick. Um, basically what she said was when you go to add a field, single line, right? Next, that you can, here's the where you used to put in the really long name. So here is the really long name of the field. Let me get that space out of there. Long name of the field, right? Well, if you go to additional preferences, you can see it was kind of like building that thing out for me. So if I keep on going, let's keep going. Let's keep going. And then we can say, hey, <clears throat> you know what? I really don't want that long. Uh, this is going to be the, this uh, here is name of the field. Okay. So um, you can make it shorter. You can make the key shorter. And I said, well, is that like this global search key thing like you see in forms sometimes? Or does that become the new merge field? And it turns out that that becomes the new merge field. So here, here's the one I made previously. Unique key. Copy that. Go throw that in a workflow. Here's a workflow. Right? I put it right here. So then I went and I, so I made that new field. And then I opened up a contact. How long? I just... It is so long. Okay. So I fill, I populate that data and then I put this test contact, um, through the workflow. So Jim Hurst, right? So if I come over here and I take this guy <clears throat> and put him through a workflow, Jim Hurst and hit run test. Let's get the messenger going. That's look at that moving Jim over to rejected stage. It is so long. Okay. So this is great. Uh, this is this is a huge step forward. So part of my ideas board entry doesn't really, it's already been solved. Uh, I was kind of just curious, like, okay, so let's say I wanted to uh, come back in after the fact and edit something. You can definitely come in here and change the name of it. But can you change the name of this key? And that seems to be, um, you seem to be locked out of that. So I think for all intents and purposes, this gets us pretty much most of the way where we want to go. Um, we get short, unique keys that we can that we can determine. We get long names if we need them. And uh, anyway, so my apologies that this needed a part two, but that's just how complicated, complicated and intricate that, you know these these things are. Um, again, hope that was helpful, guys. And uh, may we all have short, unique keys in our custom merge fields in the future. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.